Well, I think I was coached pretty hard in high school, and I was coached pretty hard in college, and I was used to that style. And I think we all got to the Patriots, and when we got when we did things right, there was a lot of team success. And when we didn't do things right, I think what I appreciated about that environment and what I see in the business world a lot, um, and I don't see it as much in NFL teams right now, is accountability. And I think that there's a certain way that the team needs to operate in order to be successful. And, and I was okay with that. If, if, if the coach was going to be hard on me, I was going to accept the difficult coaching because I needed to hear it. And again, it motivated me. And there was a lot of players on our team that would see me get coached hard and that they would say, okay, I got to step my game up. Cause I don't want to get yelled. Tom's getting yelled at. I don't want to get yelled at. Yeah. How do I up my game? And, and I think that's, that was, that's what accountability looks like. And, and you can't be, you know, so have your ego so big that, you know, any criticism is going to, you know, lessen your confidence. I mean, look, you're going out there in the Super Bowl in two weeks in Vegas and you've got hundreds of millions of people watching. You better be tough at that point. You better have have, you know, not go in there with, you know, a, a, a weak attitude. Fragile. I think you got to go in there and you got to embrace the challenge, embrace the opportunity you're going to be tested and if your coach tests you and your teammates test you then you can go beat your competition you know if they're not testing you and you're waiting for game day to figure things out you're at a disadvantage so i love the fact that i was pushed every day to be my best and i love that i had the ability to push my teammates every day to be their best and when i did that i knew that there was accountability back on me that I was expected to go be my best. And ultimately that led to a lot of team success. So there's only one way to do it, in my opinion. You could do it over a short period of time. I don't think Andy Reid, you know, lets his players get off the hook. I don't think Kyle Shanahan lets his players get off the hook. I see those guys with the very disciplined style. I respect those programs for how they run it. And I hope all the teams can learn from that so that we can create the most competitive NFL that there, there could be. And people continue to love the sport like I have over a long period of time.